world's youngest self-made billionaires. Hey everyone, it is Alexa again, and welcome back to another video. Most billionaires have amassed their fortunes over decades, but today we're going to look at some of the world's youngest self-made billionaires, and their wealth continues to grow at a rapid rate. But before we get into today's video, make sure that you are subscribed and ring the bell so that you never miss any of our upcoming videos. John Collison With an estimated wealth of $1.1 billion, 27-year-old John Collison is one of those success stories that we all love hearing. He's originally from a small town in Ireland. Collison headed to America to study at Harvard. He dropped out of Harvard to focus on Stripe, a tech company that he founded when he was 19. Stripe revolutionized the way people did online payments and companies like Lyft and Facebook utilize it. He started the company with his older brother Patrick, and he has a passion for flying planes, running, and hiking. Patrick Collison. This is the brother of John, who we just mentioned earlier, and he's 30 years old and the current CEO of Stripe. He dropped out of MIT to team up with his brother to begin Stripe, which is now worth billions. At 16, he won the 41st Young Scientist and Technology Exhibition, and at 18, he had already co-founded and sold Octomatic, which was an auction and marketplace management system. He's worth the same as his brother, roughly $1.1 billion. Lucas Walton Not all youngsters have to work as hard for their billions, and Lucas Walton inherited a vast amount of his fortune because his grandfather was the founder of Walmart. Despite receiving the money, he has also made a lot of his fortune himself. The 33-year-old philanthropist is worth $15.6 billion. Cheng Wei 36-year-old Cheng Wei is the CEO of Didi Chuxing, a ride service very much like Uber. He is currently worth $1.2 billion. Before he started up Didi Chuxing, he worked for e-commerce firm Alibaba for eight years. Didi Chuxing took over the Chinese division of Uber in 2016, further increasing Wei's ever-increasing wealth. In 2014, Didi Chuxing had 100 million registered users and 1 million registered drivers operating in over 300 cities and to date have done close to 2 billion rides. On an interesting side note, Wei does not know how to drive a car. Sachin Bensal He's no spring chicken anymore, but at 42 years of age, Sachin Bensal is worth $1 billion. He amassed his fortune when he teamed up with Benny Bensal, no relation, and the pair founded Flipkart, an online seller of books. Flipkart is the top internet retailer in India with 44 million registered users and 30 million products. Bensal resides in Bangalore in India and was CEO of the company from 2007 to 2016. He dropped out of Forbes' list of billionaires, but just a few days ago, he was reinstated as a legit billionaire. Bini Bansal. This is the partner of Sachin Bansal, and the pair started Flipkart. His net worth is also $1 billion. He served as CEO for just a couple of years. He resigned when there were allegations of personal misconduct. India Today have ranked him and Sachin as some of their top 50 most influential people in India. Wang Han He is worth around $1.2 billion. Han was fortunate enough to inherit a 27% stake in Junyao Airlines from his deceased father. Junyao Airlines is a budget Chinese airline that was founded by the Junyao Group, which his father began. The company's shares tripled in value in 2015, and Han has managed to keep his billionaire status. Scott Farker With an estimated worth of $6.9 billion, it might surprise you that this incredible wealth has been credited to a letter that got lost in the mail. Scott Farker co-founded Atlassian, a software company in Australia, along with his friend Mike Cannon Brooks in 2002. His original plan was to join the Australian Defence Force Academy when he finished school, but his acceptance letter was delayed by two months. He changed his plans and enrolled at the University of NSW, where he met Mike. When they founded their company, they were living in a shared house, surviving on ramen noodles. They nabbed their first major customer in 2003, and now the company has an annual revenue of over $1 billion and deploys 3,000 people globally. Evan Spiegel At the tender age of 25, Evan Spiegel was a self-made billionaire. He's now 28 years old and has been happily married to Miranda Kerr since 2017, and they have a little boy called Hart. With a net worth of roughly $2.3 billion, Spiegel garnered his huge success when he launched Snapchat with two of his former Stanford classmates, Bobby Murphy and Reggie Brown. He's been described as evasive, unpredictable, and overconfident. It's also said that he thinks sites like Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter are bad for society. 
Bobby Murphy. We mentioned that Evan began Snapchat with former classmates, and one of them was Bobby Murphy. The 30-year-old has a net worth of $2.3 billion and lives in California. He was Kappa Sigma fraternity brothers with Evan Spiegel at university. Times named him one of the most influential people of 2014. He is described as smart, friendly, and quiet. And apparently, he and Evan paid the third person, Reggie Brown, $157.5 million to disappear. Mark Zuckerberg. What is a list of young self-made billionaires without Mark Zuckerberg on it? He was 23 years old when it was announced he had joined the billionaire ranks. He is worth $63.3 billion and his wealth is growing at a rapid rate. He co-founded Facebook and is chairman and CEO. He and his wife, Priscilla Chan, are the ninth wealthiest couple in the world. When he was just 12 years old, he created an instant messaging program that was called Zucknet. It was for his dentist father to alert him when patients arrived. Dustin Moskovitz. We can't speak about Facebook without mentioning Dustin Moskovitz, who co-founded it with Mark Zuckerberg. His net worth is $11.1 billion and he's just 34 years old. He has since left Facebook to launch Asana, but he is still a significant stakeholder. His big passion is the philanthropic organization that he co-founded called Good Ventures. He and his now wife, Carrie Tuna, founded it in 2011. To date, the charity has donated over $100 million to places like Against Malaria Foundation, Give Directly, Schistomiasis Control Initiative, and Deworm the World Initiative. Eduardo Saverin, currently living in Singapore, Saverin has an estimated worth of $5.6 billion. He was also part of the whole Facebook startup process, but he left after legal disputes with others. He still holds a small stake in the company, but is now the director of 99, a rental and sales website in Singapore. Plus, he's an active angel investor. He renounced his U.S. citizenship in 2012. Nathan Blachartzik. 35-year-old Nathan Blachartzik is worth $3.6 billion, and he was recruited by Joe Gebbia to begin the worldwide phenomenon of Airbnb. He started his career as an engineer at Opnet Technologies in 2005. He was then lead developer at Botic in 2007. When the idea of Airbnb came out, they battled to find funding, so decided to make the money themselves. They bought huge quantities of cereal and rebranded the packaging with names like Obama O's and Cap'n McCain's and sold them at the Democratic National Convention in Denver, Colorado. They made enough to set the wheels in motion for the now $31 billion company. Joe Gebbia. If you've stayed in a sweet Airbnb spot, you can thank this guy. His fortune is in the region of $3.6 billion, and his idea for Airbnb came about when he and his roommate decided to rent out airbeds from their San Francisco apartment. They needed the cash to pay the inflated rent and knew that most of the hotels were full up because of the Industrial Design Society of America conference that was in town. The website, Air Bed and Breakfast, was created. This was the foundation of Airbnb as we know it today. Elizabeth Holmes. If you haven't heard this name before, here's her story in its most basic form. She was a sophomore at Stanford when she dropped out and began a healthcare technology company called Theranos. What put her name in the limelight was her revolutionary technology that achieved really affordable blood tests from just one drop of blood. At one stage, she was worth $4.3 billion. The problem with this technology was that it just didn't work, and it was all a scam. The Justice Department has 17 million pages of documents to go through in order to charge her and Sunny Bawani. Garrett Camp. While he was still in university, Garrett Camp had already co-founded StumbleUpon, a web discovery platform in 2002. Fast forward to 2009, and this self-made billionaire came up with the concept of Uber. He is currently chairman of both Uber and StumbleUpon. At 40, this go-getter is worth $4.6 billion. He's also a firm believer in giving back and is part of the Giving Pledge, which is a promise to give away half your wealth to charity. He founded Uber with Travis Kalanick. Interesting to note, Uber is not permitted in his his home Canadian town of Calgary. Travis Kalanick. This is Travis Kalanick, and he is the former CEO of Uber. Things went a bit uh, pear-shaped in 2017, and he was ousted from this prestigious position. There were scandals and boardroom drama, and Dara Khosrowshahi took over in 2018. Kalanick is sitting on a fortune of $5.8 billion at the age of 42. This major change was not a setback for Kalanick, and he is working on something in conjunction with his own cloud kitchens, and the employees have been asked to keep mum about it. Daniel 
Stuart Butterfield. This 46-year-old Canadian man can be credited with creating the photo-sharing website Flickr. While he was at university, the huge World Wide Web was born, and he was instantly hooked. He's currently worth $1.6 billion. He was hired by Yahoo in 2005 and continued his role as general manager from Flickr. He left in 2008. He can also be credited for the instant message-based team communication tool Slack, which had 2 million daily users within two years. Prince George and Princess Charlotte. Some kids have to work hard to earn their money, and some are born into it, like Prince George and Princess Charlotte. The impact that these kids have had on the British economy is huge, and while there's no way to find out exactly what each child is worth, it seems Charlotte is leading the way. Charlotte's influence on the economy is said to be one and a half billion dollars, more than George's. Charlotte's worth has already been estimated at five billion dollars, and her older brother, a mere 3.6 billion. What is the first thing you would do if you were a millionaire, let alone a billionaire? Let us know in the comments below. Kylie Jenner She has dominated the internet, and magazines such as Forbes magazine declared Kylie Jenner the youngest self-made billionaire ever. She beats Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg by two years, as he managed this incredible feat at 23, and she is only 21. This business mogul and reality TV star launched Kylie Cosmetics in 2015, and within two years, the company had sold $630 million of products. In 2018, her annual revenue had increased by 9%, and it is steadily growing. She used $250,000 of her own money that she earned through sponsorships and modeling and created her first lip kits. Many question if she's really self-made, but if Forbes says she is, who are we to argue?